Hey guys, so today's video is about three different channels and how what they did or certain people in that group did to cause what has happened. I know that's very vague, but I don't want to give away the whole video before the video even starts. Now, before we get into the video, I have spoken to T-Spill before. I like her. I like her content. I liked her content before I knew her. I've watched a few here for the tea videos. They're both drama channels as you can probably tell by the names but i was never affiliated with here for the tea in any way and i don't i wasn't subscribed to here for the tea so i don't have any kind of like bias there i mean i don't have any bias with tea spill but i just wanted to put it out there before anyone's like you guys follow each other on twitter and it's like yeah we do but and jeffrey star jeffrey star we obviously you know who that is before we get into the video subscribe leave a thumbs up comment down below turn on notifications and follow me on all my socials everything will be in the description down below or wherever else you can find it. Tea Spill and Here for the Tea are both drama channels. We know that. We know who Jeffree Star is, a true icon. Here for the Tea has always been against Jeffree Star and has sometimes found problems with him that were seen as reaching by some people. And that's why a lot of people have turned away from her because of the clear bias there, a negative bias as well, which is sometimes worse than a positive one. People think that she's problematic and gives drama channels a bad rep, but that is for you guys to decide if you know who here for the tea is and if you don't then you can't decide and you just go take my word for it. Tea Spill is more for Jeffree Star. She she likes him, she um, promotes him every now and then, she'll say something nice about him but I'm pretty sure if push came to shove and she had something negative to say, she would say it because at the end of the day that's her channel but there is a slight difference between Tea Spill and Here for the Tea. Tea Spill is more funny, edits, explain the drama along the way but put it in a more comedic fashion. Now Here for the Tea is known for more harsh, brutal ways of explaining things. So that's kind of where the difference lies, I guess, in how they treat other YouTubers. Now Tea Spill and Here for the Tea at one point a few months ago collabed on a series that was on Here for the Tea's channel and it was about Jaclyn Hill. Now Jaclyn Hill is another big YouTuber who does makeup but most of her drama is to do with Morphe and how much she pushes them and how much money she gets from that. A lot of people have made videos about Jaclyn Hill. I want you guys to remember that, contain that in your head. A lot of people have made videos about Jaclyn Hill and a lot of people have made videos about Jaclyn Hill and her affiliation with Morphe. So this isn't something new. They weren't exposing anything that was like mind-blowing new information they were just saying this is what's happening i don't think the series was problematic in any sense i don't think it's any different to commentary style videos made about the pauls or ace family or danielle Cohn. there was nothing different that's basically what commentary and drama channels do they make videos about different situations whether you like it or not that's the kind of content we make and we just gotta deal with it the series then ended abruptly with no explanation and people allegedly had some speculations about here for the tea and tea spill both being paid off by either jacqueline hill morphe jeffrey star etc to stop the series which is a lack of integrity if you have a drama slash commentary based channel to be paid off to to not make a certain expose video is a lack of integrity so clearly people were up in arms about it and people were quite obviously hurt by it that they were missing out on content because they couldn't just not accept the money but that wasn't the case. Tea Spill allegedly blocked the name Jacqueline Hill from her comment section in on her YouTube videos and just continued making videos as normal, which I think is a very maturing, classy way to go about that kind of a situation. You know, you don't have to see the hate. You can just go on with your life and you don't owe anyone an explanation. That's my two cents. Now, Here for the Tea claims that she received a lot more hate. I think the hate was equally spread out, but it was just more focused on Here for the Tea because she always made it seem like she doesn't care and she'll make a video regardless of what the circumstances are. So for people to think that she got paid off to not make a video kind of defeats the whole purpose of her channel as well as it being on her channel. You know, when a series is on your channel, even if it's a collab, most of the blame and responsibility will fall on you because that's your channel. Your channel is your responsibility even if you bring someone else on now fast forward to a few days ago here for the tea released a dm that tea spill sent her the dm was between tea spill and jeffree star and it went as follows honest question what would you do if someone killed themselves because of the content you guys created asking for a friend straight off the bat i hate that <laughs> i'm so sorry i love jeffree jeffree is an icon yes but this is a no from me i'm sorry this just can't run around here the, this message could have been sent 
but it sure as f- could have been worded differently because this is just not it not it what would you do if someone killed themselves because of the content you guys created you should never make anyone feel like what they're doing is causing someone else to feel suicidal this low-key reminds me of you know those toxic relationships where one person wants to break up with the other and the other's like if you break up with me i'll kill myself and that person is forced to stay in that relationship because they feel bad and they feel like if anything was to happen it would be their fault. I think that's very toxic and manipulative and I hate that. Tea Spill and Here for the Tea make videos about everyone. Now, if every single one of those YouTubers, even me, um, I make videos about a lot of people, not all those videos are positive. If every single one of those people messaged me and was like, hey, I'm about to kill myself if you make more videos about me, I would be out of my job. This leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But you tell me what you guys think. T-Spill replies and says, Hey, wait, are you referring to the Jacqueline Hill video? I don't know if you've been on my channel, but I just make edits and talk about what's going on in the community. Jeffree Star responds and says, Oh, I love you, babe. But the Here for the Tea video series thing is causing things behind the scenes. Is Sam's goal to make someone take their life? It's close. Once again, guilt tripping people, shifting the blame. I think that's low-key disgusting i don't know why more people are not criticizing jeffree star for the way he has worded things he could have said hey the videos are making jacqueline hill feel pretty bad about herself and it would be nice if you guys could ease up on her a little bit uh, she's been through a lot help us this out this is why sometimes i think commentary and drama channels are all good and great until they hit a million subs because then they get affiliated with bigger youtubers and then the bias comes in you know those youtubers feel like they can just dm you and be like hey can you not make videos about my friend and then you feel like oh i'm friends with them and they're friends with a person that i want to make a video about i probably shouldn't do that because that creates an awkward situation that's why i'm not friends with many people on youtube that and because i'm a but i'm not friends with many people outside of the community or i don't know many people and i don't speak to many people outside of the community because i feel like that creates a weird awkward situation where if they do anything or their friends do anything you feel like you can't talk about it and they feel comfortable enough to dm you and tell you to not talk about it or even tell you that someone's about to kill themselves for it now when those dms were released by here for the tea now tea spill replied with some of these following tweets i hate talking about private situations publicly especially when it involves someone i considered a friend at one point but since it's been made public without knowledge this is all i'll say i don't believe in releasing dms if you message me something i'm not going to save it for later tea on you i sent sam that message in confidence it was between us and not the public we both decided to cancel the series after seeing Jacqueline's snapchat and the dm a video and some views isn't worth that risk fair enough i luckily have pretty understanding followers thank you and most of you guys understood i'm not going to lie i get a lot of hate i probably have every possible way to write Jacqueline's name blocked from my channel comments people were pissed but i stayed quiet and have been posting videos ever since just doing my thing i haven't spoken to sam in the longest time i had no idea she was getting hate we haven't mentioned a series to each other since october sam has her own stuff going on and hasn't even been on youtube i was getting my phone battery replaced today so i was kind of shocked to see the dms i sent in private released when i got home to say i got off easy from this is insane because i coped the backlash hard i just mute people block or ignore and kept it moving sam told you guys what happened eight months ago you either accept her word or don't not everything needs a receipt especially on a sensitive topic fuck i got tons of hate for even mentioning mental health in my statement eight months ago i never believe in releasing dms so you can drag me all you want for that but that's just my morals and that's that i thought we were on good terms but i thought wrong sorry if you guys were looking forward to the jacqueline videos but it wasn't worth it sam's been vocal about going through stuff in her personal life so if you guys want to direct your no jacqueline video hate towards someone feel free to direct it towards me going forward i think this was a real classy way to reply to hate i overall just think that the dm jeffree star sent to tea spill almost plants a seed in their head even if it doesn't have immediate effect it plants a seed in your head and if something was to happen to jacqueline hill tea spill and here for the tea who are real human beings they're not just channels real human beings would have to live the rest of their life believing that they are at fault and to blame for what happened to Jacqueline Hill. I think that is disgusting to do to another human being, mainly when what they're doing is what a lot of people do. There are hundreds of drama and commentary channels that Jeffree Star could have targeted. There are multiple, you know, news outlets and tabloids that do the exact same thing, magazines. It's, do you think 
that you can just message magazines and be like, hey, I think if you speak about Ariana Grande again, she is going to kill herself and I think you should stop. It is their job to speak on those topics. You can't just guilt trip people into not doing their job. There are multiple theories online. I'm gonna quickly outline them all for you guys. The first one is that Here For The Tea received a lot of backlash and simply wanted the attention to move from her to Teaspoon and Jeffree Star. I think if someone is on the edge, they will sometimes do something that is maybe not the best option, but it seems like the best option at the time. If she wasn't coping well with the hate, she made a rash decision. And here we are. Some people think Teaspoon is to blame and that she didn't release the DMs on purpose to make sure that hate was directed to Here For The Tea rather than Teaspoon when we just heard that that's not true. Teaspoon did receive a lot of hate, but just locked it out more. The other theory is that Jeffree Star is using suicide as a way to manipulate two drama channels into not creating content they, that they have every right to create. Another theory is that, that Here For The Tea has some kind of vendetta against Jeffree Star, which kind of has been proven along the way. She is not a big fan of Jeffree Star. People are saying that this is her way of him over. Mainly because right now is around the time of Jeffree Star's new collection release and people are saying that Here For The Tea released it around this time to stir the pot, make people go against Jeffree Star so that his sales flop. And the last kind of crazy theory, but I'm not totally against it, is that Morphe was involved in this because the expose about Jaclyn Hill is still on Here For The Tea's channel. I mean, it's not finished, but it's there. The first episode is there. And I watched it when it came out. And it is mainly about Jeffree Star and Morphe's affiliation and how that is a scam. It speaks about how Jaclyn Hill sold out and basically promoted Morphe makeup, even though she didn't believe in its quality herself. But she forced herself to enjoy it and use it to sell more and get that sweet, sweet 10% commission. Um, so I guess Morphe could have possibly told Jeffree Star, hey, could you just DM T-Spill to make sure that that doesn't continue because our sales will drop because people will lose confidence in us. So that is more of a out there reaching theory. I mean, it makes sense to some extent, I guess. I just don't know if they would go that far because they know they will still get sales. Do I think T-Spill or Here For The Tea should be blamed for their abrupt ending of the series? No. I feel like anyone that received that kind of a DM from someone would second guess continuing with the series. I don't think there's anyone out there that would read that and be like, I don't care. Even if you continued with the series, you'd have a seed planted in your head and anything that Jaclyn Hill would say or do that would insinuate poor mental health, you would feel like you're to blame for that. Do I think what Jeffree Star did was inappropriate? Yes. I think one, he shouldn't have said that unless Jaclyn Hill gave him permission to say that to Teaspoon. I think it's kind of disrespectful to say that to someone else. It's very sensitive information. But two, even if he did have the permission to say that, I think just the way he worded it was very blunt. And I know that's Jeffrey. Jeffrey's very blunt. I've, I've defended him before about that. But I just think there was a nicer way to say that and a way that wouldn't make these two smaller channels feel scared to talk about someone because that's that's not what should be happening on YouTube. No one should feel scared to talk about someone. Do I think that Teaspo had malicious intent to not release the DMs? No, I think she herself knew that they contained very sensitive information about someone that she wasn't friends with, someone that she didn't have permission from to release the DMs. And I think the only people that should have seen those DMs was Teaspo and Here For The Tea because they were the only people that collabed on that series. Jeffree Star could have had pure intentions regarding Jaclyn Hill and this whole situation. He could have just simply been worried about his friend and wanted the best for her. But I don't think he should have messaged T-Spill. I don't think you should ever blame drama or commentary channels for your or someone else's mental health. I think mental health is something that someone should work on themselves instead of blaming everyone around them. Work on yourself and instead of saying, I don't want to see any criticism about me, say, how can I be better at reacting to criticism? I think that is the way to go with mental health because there will always be people criticizing you. So for you to say, I just want this criticism gone, isn't going to fix the root of the problem. The root of the problem is handling criticism. Just to make sure we're clear, I have no affiliation with Here For The Tea whatsoever. I've never been in contact with her in any way, shape or form. I have a lot of respect though for Teaspo and Jeffree Star. Now, am I blaming anyone? No. Do I think this is anyone's fault necessarily? Kind of. 
I think Jeffree Star shouldn't have DMTs put in the first place. I think Here for the Tea shouldn't have released those DMs in public. And I'm actually very proud of Tea Spill for how she handled this on the timeline. I was very proud when I saw that and I thought it was a very classy and mature way to go about things. It wasn't manipulative and it wasn't shifting the blame. It was simply saying, here's what happened. Here's why I handled it the way I did, accept it or not here I am. And I kind of enjoyed that. I have no problem with Jeffree Star. Before this, after this, I think people make mistakes sometimes and we're all a bit too quick to cancel and judge people. I think Jeffree Star could have simply been worried about his friend and acted accordingly to that. I don't think anyone is necessarily the bad guy here. I mean, as I said, T-Spill respected Jeffree Star enough to hear him out and say, okay, I won't release the series and we won't make any more parts of the series. Jeffree Star was quite insensitive with the way he worded it, but his intentions could have been pure as far as we're concerned. Um, Here for the Tea could have been at a breaking point at this point. I don't think people realise what it's like to be a YouTuber receiving large amounts of hate every single day. Trust me, you would be at your breaking point too. Do I think what she did was right? No. Can I kind of excuse it? Sure. That's my opinion. You can have yours and you can tell me respectfully in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think and let me know which of the theories that I mentioned you guys think is true. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below anything else that you want to comment down below. I post videos every Friday so subscribe and turn on notifications. Follow me on my socials and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.